I've been trying to lose weight. But ladies, I'm in that first stage, you know, where we're just thinking about it. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if you know this, but when you a plus-size woman, other plus-size women automatically think you they friends. <laughs> I'm like, get away from me, fat girl. <laughs> we may not be fat for the same reason. <laughs> You probably ate too much. My thyroids could be messing up. Tonight on Laughs, our hosts travel the country with three shirts, a toothbrush, and a pair of undies to find you the best stand-up comedy of the week. Now here's your host, Steve Hofstetter. Yes, hello. Thank you. That was very kind of you. We've got a great show for you tonight, and let's get right into it. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Miss Del Harrison. <laughs> Waitress during the day, okay? And let me just tell you, waitressing has turned me into a full-blooded racist. Do you hear me? <laughs> I pretty much run a whites-only section when I'm working. <laughs> and sometimes blacks over 40, okay? Because blacks over 40 have turned white by then too, okay? <laughs> but why do white kids tip me better than black adults? God, y'all are great tempered. Look at this audience, y'all look delicious. I'm thinking, about, I'm thinking about picking up a shift after I get off stage. <laughs> and the thing is, I be so, I take it so personal when black people don't tip me because I don't have a lot of black people coming in where I work, you know, so I be so nice to them like, oh my God, how many of us y'all, 17? Come on in. <laughs> you know, black people, girl, they need extra barbecue sauce. You got some extra honey mustard? You got some extra bread? These fries is too cold. My baby said the slushy, slushy ain't slushy, slushy like she used to. <laughs> and we need 17 separate checks. <laughs> girl, and all that work and no tip. I be so mad with black people. I be telling my white boss, why do we keep letting them up in here? <laughs> God, I miss the 60s. <laughs> Let's watch some John Fish. Ladies, you don't know how to do the pictures when you're online dating. It's so frustrating. Please stop putting up pictures with you and your friends. <laughs> it's so confusing. <laughs> you're like, I'm in yellow, I'm on the left. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, well, who's the one on the right? <laughs> uh, is she on this thing? I'll find her. Have you guys heard of Tinder? That's the new one, Tinder. Oh my God. If you haven't heard of Tinder, it's gonna blow your mind. Uh, it's not even a website, it's just a dating app on your phone and based on GPS, it notifies you what women are in the area. <laughs> you swipe left if you don't like them, you swipe right if you do, and I am addicted to it. <laughs> I just sit on it for hours until they run out of women. <laughs> and then I just drive to another area. <laughs> and it's warping my brain too, I'm on it all day, I can't even walk down the sidewalk, I see women, I'm like, yep, yep, no, yep. Originally from Seattle, Washington, here's this week's choice for the next big thing, Joe Larson. They tell you not to shake the baby so much at the hospital, it's almost confusing. It was like the first thing they told us. We were like, don't shake the baby. We were like, we haven't even had the baby. I don't know. <laughs> then we had the baby and they're like, here's your baby, don't shake it. And we're like, yeah, we got it. And then they made us watch a video that was like, don't shake the baby. And we're like, okay, this is a little overkill. Then they made us watch a, or sign a piece of paper that said that we watched the video that we won't shake the baby. And then as we were leaving, they were like, take care, don't shake the baby. And <laughs> got home, I was like, now I kind of want to shake this baby. I don't know. <laughs> the last time somebody was that adamant that I not shake something, I was 13, and <laughs> turned out to be pretty awesome. <laughs> I'm a 43-year-old single dad who lives with my parents and 17-year-old son who thinks I'm an idiot. Dot com is my website address. <laughs> and my life, which is awesome. 
My dad, oh, my dad is a hoot. He's full of adventure. He's a 70-year-old retired Vietnam vet. He's your average 70-year-old retired Vietnam vet. You can usually find him out in the garage tinkering around, trying to figure out ways to kill burglars. <laughs> It's like all he wants out of life is for some dumb, strung out crackhead to break into that house in the middle of the night and walk into his own personal jungle. <laughs> I walked in on him in the garage one time. I was like, Dad, why are you sawing off that shotgun? He was like, so it'll fit in the cookie jar, dumbass. A 43-year-old single dad with a 17-year-old son who thinks I'm stupid and I'm trying to make it in this dating world with these younger women, so I, I am trying to trend it up. So I started shaving down here. <laughs> so I have two razors, because I don't want what's going on down here to go on up here. So I have the two razors, one which I call my face razor, and the other which I call my son's face razor. I was a fat kid. Being a fat kid is worse than being born addicted to crack. Those babies don't remember withdrawal. I'll never forget what a Pop-Tart tastes like. <laughs> my dad bought me a rap album and he bought the CD from Walmart. Some people are already laughing because you know exactly what the I'm talking about. <laughs> For everybody that here that's never bought a mother rap album, or you've never bought a hip hop album from Walmart, let me explain it to you like I'd explain it to my mother dad. <laughs> Why the would you buy a CD from a place that edits out all the mother cuss words. That's like half the album. Ah. <laughs> Pay full price for this piece of <laughs> Get half an album. And if you're in here and you work at Walmart, you know what? You do. <laughs> and I know that your life sucks because you work at a Walmart, but they won't let you return the CD without a receipt. Mother, how the am I supposed to have a receipt with a, a CD if this is a present from my dad? I told you that when I came in the store. If you need a break from literally non-stop football this weekend, you can watch all of our episodes at youtube.com slash last TV show. I love football, but five straight days is a bit much. Mad as hell with Tom Simmons. I had a buddy of mine owed me $100. He doesn't have it. He's like, let me write you a check. You can run in the bank and cash it on your way out of town. I need the money. I go into his bank. Hey, I need to cash this, please. She's like, okay, Mr. Simmons, we can cash this for you, but it's going to cost you $6 since you don't have an account here. I'm like, well, he has an account here, and uh, he owes me $100. <laughs> <laughs> right, not $94. You're actually making him commit fraud by doing that. Like, well, that's just our system. I need to see your fingerprint. My fingerprint? You're the one committing the crime here. <laughs> your ability to create money out of thin air is in business advantage enough. You have to steal our money six dollars at a time. Let me ask you something. If that check is for five dollars, would I owe you a dollar? <laughs> She's like, yes, you would, sir. You're evil. That's what you are. If you want my fingerprints? You better dust my ankles, because that's where they are right now as you ream my assets. <laughs> We'll be right back with more LOLs than a teenager's Instagram. It's laughs. Ladies, stop flirting with Steve. He's married, but I'm on Tinder. Swipe right. It's laughs. Ladies and gentlemen, more John Fish. I do like OkCupid. Uh, that's a little more my speed. Uh, it's a nice dating website where they ask you a series of fun questions like, would you consider sleeping with someone on the first date? I'm like, I don't even need the date. <laughs> but based on your answers, they figure out what percentage match you are. <laughs> <laughs> 
what percentage friend you are, and what percentage enemy. <laughs> so I have decided to put love on hold to find my arch nemesis. <laughs> and I'm gonna have sex with her. <laughs> and then I'm gonna marry her best friend. <laughs> the one on the right. I got into an argument on the subway. He was like, men do not live on bread alone. Matthews, 4-4. Four, four. And I was like, everybody's a little bit magic. Harry Potter, chapter seven. <laughs> Jesus was the most loving guy ever. The only time he ever used violence in his entire ministry was on the damn money changers at the temple. All right, you know how evil you gotta be to piss off Jesus? <laughs> And I got a buddy, he's an atheist. He's like, Tom, stop bringing up Jesus as an example, all right? He's an imaginary, fictional, mythical character. I'm like, well, I don't think that's true. I think he was a real guy, because Jesus was a carpenter, okay? You don't give imaginary people jobs. <laughs> yeah. They don't need them. My buddy Larry, who I'm making up right now, because I don't have a buddy named Larry, he doesn't have a job. You know why? Because he's not real, that's why. <laughs> no. He was a carpenter. He made a lot of things. He had to over the years. Do you think when he was up on the cross that he looked at it all with a carpenter's critical eye? Just, to, just for a second, he had to be like, wait a minute. This isn't even level. This is shoddy, shoddy work, but you have nothing as plumb. The cypress is split. Oh, forgive them, Father, for they don't build them like they used to. Yeah. Just saying, he made things. He had to make like a birdhouse or a chest of drawers or something. I think that's how we'll find out Jesus was real. Be watching Antique Roadshow late one night. <laughs> yeah, some appraiser will be like, wow, dude, this scroll pole looks absolutely ancient. Let's see who made this. Jesus! <laughs> Ooh, you got this at a yard sale? That is a beautiful, beautiful piece. Look at that. I think that healed my fibromyalgia. <laughs> to Twitter to vent about Cyber Monday, Black Friday, and all the mouth breathers you saw while you were out shopping, make sure to tag us using hashtag LaughsTV. I'm sure you'll have a lot of material to tweet about. I get hit on by a lot of guys and it makes me uncomfortable because the guys who hit on me are like really, really good looking. Oh. Nobody told me I could pull nines and tens in the gay community. <laughs> Guys are hitting on me, and they got, like, perfect hair and abs. My last girlfriend had a lazy eye and was missing a tooth. <laughs> my mind says no, my body says no, but my ego's like, you know Dan. The homeless people are everywhere, and I give, you man, I do, I give. Guy came up to me the other day like, hey, Miss Lady, Miss Lady, Miss Lady, Miss Lady. I ain't ate in three days. I'm like, damn, wow, wow. I wish I had your willpower. <laughs> Keep it up, you're gonna take off the weight, I swear to God. In 30 days, you're gonna be gorgeous, I swear to God, you're gonna be. No, I'm not gonna give him a dollar to get him something to eat. He's gonna come up to me anyway and actually ask me for a quarter to get something to eat. Like, really, dude, a quarter to get you something to eat? What you on, reduce lunch? <laughs> When's your card expired? Anybody remember that in high school, reduce lunch? You felt good about yourself on your own reduce lunch, yeah. That meant you was one step above being on free lunch. <laughs> Ain't nobody wanna be on free lunch. That meant you was poor, oh my God. You get teased when you're on free lunch. You get upset when somebody even accused you of being on free lunch. Like, hey, Pat, you on free, hey, hey, hey. I'm all reduced. When we come back from Sketch Town, we got the kids table and we rob a bank with the Knicks brothers. Welcome back to Laughs. Here's our friends, the kids table. From the kids' table, and I'm here to introduce the Okay, sketch. what's this? What's happening? I'm introducing the sketch. Well, you need me to do it. No, I don't. Yeah, you do, and TV needs me because I hosted an episode of Laughs. Yeah, but Steve Hassenfloffer asked me to introduce this. That's not his last name, I guarantee it. It's close enough. Hey, guess what? There's a really funny sketch coming up. Here's the sketch of the week. Hey Joyce, there, uh, there's, there's a sticker out. <laughs> I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Hang, hang on, I got a mask on. Uh, this, uh, I'm doing a stick up on you guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, a hold 
up. Just saw the gun. Okay, hold up. Stick up, whatever. It's my first one, so. Alrighty then. Well, what exactly can I do for you? First, I'm gonna go ahead and give this string a little pull. Oh! Uh, oh! oh! Did I get you? No, sorry, sir. The gun isn't actually pointed at anybody at the moment. Are you serious? Could you, could you point it at somebody? Sure thing. Just a moment. Okay, thank you. Sir? Yeah. Sir, we've got another one of our tellers, Phil, here. The gun is pointed at him now. Okay. Well, hey there, sir. How's your day going? Oh, uh, did I get him? Boy, you sure did. Yeah, where'd I, yep. where'd I get him? Did I get him in the face? Yep, right in the... Wait, can you see in here? No, I can't. I totally can't. It was a lucky guess. It sounded like a face thing. He went quiet real quick. Oh, oh, oh gosh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I don't want to make this real complicated. How, how much money do you have in the drawer? Um, looks like about 6300 Okay, I will take $5,000. Are you sure? I have the entire 6300 right here in front of me. It's really not a problem. You know what? You're right, Joyce. I will take $6,300. I'm going to treat myself today. And how would you like that back? Uh, tw um, tens? Twenties? Give me tw give me 300 in twenties and 600 in tens. Do they make a thousand dollar bill? <laughs> no, unfortunately they oh, don't. Oh, that would be so fun. I'd like th <laughs> I'd go I'd go to the liquor store and be like, oh, I'll take a I'll take like a six pack of <gasps> Bud Light. You got change for a thousand? Oh gosh. <laughs> Just tens and twenties. It's fine. <laughs> Anything else I can do for you today? Nope, I think that's gonna do it. Okay, well, just one moment. Okay. Cool. It's here. Cue money and a peppermint. Joyce, thank you. Okay, well, thank you for using Safe Bank. You have a great day now. Okay, you too. Bye. Oh God! Joyce! Joyce! Joyce, my my gun! Also, I, f I, was, I forgot quarters. I was supposed to get some quarters. Uh, I'm gonna come around, okay? These things, they're taking the people out of banking. Don't change the channel. We'll come back and see what happens when Nicholas Anthony's mic goes out. Welcome back to the show that goes perfectly with some in a glass of It's laugh. Our next comedian is so good on his feet that when his mic cut out, he was able to still handle it. Nick Anthony. Like I grew up with all women. I got sisters, three sisters, you know, I got seven aunts on one side of my family, five on the other, I got three sisters and a mom. I should be an expert, right? No. All that happened was I wore my towel up to my armpits till I was like 15. <laughs> that is. Rolling out of 10th grade gym class after the showers, like, hey fellas, what's up? What's happening? How you doing? What's up? Get another towel wrapped up in my hair. Cover your nipples. That's gross. That's gross. It's your bodies, ladies. Your body's messed up. It is. Once a month, I go to the feminine product. sister walking on you masturbating awkward like that kind of weird right <laughs> she comes in looking for her belt she's like ah what the hell like, yeah what the hell she's like i just want my belt back You're like fine take your belt back you go <laughs> put that on fox the one big difference between zombies and babies zombies eat your brains babies feed on your dreams <laughs> Sharing is caring. Make the world a better place this holiday season by sharing all the jokes and videos we post at facebook.com slash laughs TV show. Share some laughs. There's something else. As a bridesmaid, you have to go dress shopping with the bride. We went to David's bridal, and we got to David's bridal, the VID of the sign was burnt out. So when you looked at it from a distance, it just looked like it said, Dad's bridal. <laughs> And I thought, oh my god, I want to get my wedding dress at Das Bridal. <laughs> Can you imagine how awesome that would be? You'd go in and try on dresses, and you'd be like, Keisha, what do you think of this dress? <laughs> oh, girl, Das Bridal! <laughs> That's a bridal dress. <laughs> you got to get that dress. Thank you so much for watching. That's been our show.